This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Go! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh -oh. What happened? <laughs> no, everything's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any... Anything I should be concerned about, or no? I just realized this might be the perfect no. night for me to 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 have a glass of whiskey. <laughs> oh, do it! Go get it, man. We can wait. All right, I'm gonna go get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get right. the whole carafe, that. man. Whiskey, Matt. All right. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be it's gonna be a whole thing. Murder is afoot. Matt, three sheets to the wind. <laughs> or will be by the time we're done. It's a long weekend, right? Y'all's got Good Fridays off. Yep, yep. <laughs> we have many Good Fridays <laughs> off, at least once a year. Oh, sure. Maybe we'll just leave this whole thing in. <laughs> Even though we haven't finished syncing up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe we won't even tell Matt. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back mm. to Dagger of Emon Ra. Uh, Matt doesn't know we've started yet. Uh, he's off getting a drink, as you've heard. So we'll see how that all transpires. <laughs> no. No. Probably. It'll sink. You will just hear us do it. You, yeah. you get to, to first time live. See, yeah. uh, we've done it before. Oh, okay. On the channel, sadly, okay. we're uh, <laughs> first first time that you have been involved with yes. it on camera sync, though. That's true. I'm so excited. I don't know why I've got my hand on the keyboard. This game does not require <laughs> me to do anything but point and click mice. So I Ooh. was in. I was like in FPS stance too. I have my fingers <laughs> on WASDA. <laughs> You know, like I was going to pilot Laura Bow around in first person. It was going to be great. Uh, yeah, I had a, a few few people. I was showing my game at GDC adjacent events last week, and a few of them were right trying WASD. Oh. <laughs> nice. For it to move there around, and, and they wanted to know why they couldn't use it for that. And I said, you can't use that for that. You have to type with those. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I just don't because use any like person. words that use W, A, S, or D to start. I don't know. I mean, I guess you could, like, require them to press enter to open the yeah, text parser. Yeah, I, I had that as you before know? the default, but speedrunners, like, had a problem with it because when they're clearing the text boxes... No, I then get it that. I, yeah, I so. would make that an option if you were going to do that. Like, you know, WASDA control mode. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Matt's oh. back and he's ready. I'm back. Yeah. I did hey. run up two flights of stairs, but I'm back. No, that's good. With whiskey, <laughs> with, with with whiskey and uh, tequila. Oh my god! Oh wow! Do those mix into something, or is that just like you? I'm getting ready to self destruct on camera. <laughs> I'm not. I, I'd never mix. That's 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 what the straights do. <laughs> Are you not one of the straights? I was pretty <laughs> sure you were, but no, the the no, not just no, like no. I'm the. I mean, I don't know. Is that no? Yes or no? No. I'm not like I'm. I'm not like the. No. Like I'm not gay. But yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. But you're also not straight. There are straight. Yeah. <laughs> it's a continuum. It's a continuum. Yeah. 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 There are straighter yeah, people I mean, than me. Absolutely. The spectrum. Sure. Sorry, spectrum. I said I said I'm the wrong a, word. I'm on. A, yeah, I'm on a spectrum. Yeah. Okay. You know, I like, I like, uh, I like, uh, I haven't even started drinking yet. I can't get into this right now. All right, here we go. That's no, good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Discussing the uh, ins and outs of my sexuality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we going to play a game? I, we need to do a vocal sync. <laughs> yes, we need to do a vocal sync. Good point. All right. Vocal sync in three, two, one. Sync. sync. Nice. 
do I start with the tequila or do I start with the whiskey? I don't know what to start with. I think I'll start with the whiskey. Doodle doobie doo. <laughs> Some songs just happen. Well, Yay, whiskey mat. Listen, guys, I've had a 12 hour day. Mm-hmm. I'm fucking wiped. The only way I'm going to get through this is with a little bit of booze. <laughs> In your coffee. I, <laughs> I, I just mean, one would assume <laughs> stickers in my coffee. It sounds like that country song. <laughs> oh. yeah, I, I didn't sing that well, but I'm thinking along the lines of lipstick on my collar or on your collar. <laughs> stickers in my, in my coffee. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's this episode's a vibe. All right, folks, we found some. We Guys, found somebody. If if yeah. you if you ever want to know what an episode sounds like when we should have canceled, you think you know, but you don't know. This is it. <laughs> All right, go for well, it. Yeah, you know, we had a conversation. We were not sure whether we were going to record tonight or not. We eventually like, yeah, because Matt was uh, only made it home what like half an hour ago at oh, this yeah. point oh yeah yeah so it was like i'll be ready in half an hour it's like okay and so you know um it probably would have been better if we had just canceled <laughs> the episode but you just get two episodes where we're gonna be all kind of loopy so yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Now I got whiskey and you um, got you got sticker coffee, so let's go. <laughs> oh. Good evening, Canis. <laughs> Good evening, Miss Bo. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry. What she she's just walking away from us. Yeah, well, she started the in the room walking away, so now that I've uh, captured her here, um, let's, uh, um, goodness. I guess, was it Dr. Carter that died? Let's oh. ask about Dr. Carter. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, remember, we poked his body. He w- was a rather good-looking fellow, don't you think? Of course, I was at the party when he died, surrounded by witnesses. But I've already told Mr. O'Reilly about all that. Well, see you later. It's it's like you you open your notebook and everyone becomes paralyzed. (laughs) It's great. (laughs) (laughs) Let's hear about Detective O'Reilly. I bore rather easily, dear girl. Do uh, do let's move on to another subject, hmm? gonna be one of these what i hadn't asked about that Come back unless it's like anything we've already yeah, asked about that doesn't have something new to talk about I, yeah probably that you know it's funny oh, how, um, here. how do you <laughs> feel about uh, abstus um yeah it's funny how the murder doesn't come up in our notebook as something we should ask about yeah i guess because it sounds about like it's something Abe. we want to ask because... about because I can't ask you about Abe Lincoln Abel? because I'm missing an L. You have an L? <laughs> yeah, we do. Sorry, Abel. I mean uh, N. We don't have an N. Um, oh. You want to ask could, a Ben? We could ask about Abe Lincoln. You can ask about Babe. <laughs> uh, you can ask about Abilene. Ablim. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Welcome back, everybody. No, I hope you're oh, having either. fun. <laughs> Abelinger. Fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Abe Lincoln. I don't like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lincoln. No, she doesn't even have anything to say about that. She's gone. She ran. <laughs> and she's, are you casting a spell? Is she? Yeah. yeah. Oh my it god. It was just a no. That was the answer. Guys, Alex yeah. has sticker coffee. Yeah, no, oh wow, Ziggy just oh, realized. Where did he come from? <laughs> I think we've already yeah yeah we've already read this before yeah. Mm -hmm. Heard any good rumors lately? What? I don't know. <laughs> Who was worth to? Me? Well, I don't have any money right now. And I got no <laughs> rumors for you two. <laughs> Wow. It's our turn to leave. <laughs> Dudes! Oh my god. I'm not ready for this, guys. Ooh. Oh wow, this is new. I don't think we've been here before. It's gorgeous. Oh. Art is Work by Fra Bobetto Glizoni. Painted in 1492. I believe it's commissioned. Glazoni. Sorry. Glazoni. Glazoni. That's fine. Yeah. Glazoni. Uh, commissioned by Queen Isabella to keep him busy finding a new way to paint instead of discovering the new world so that Christopher Columbus could do it instead. Smart. Smart. I see something glistening. A typical light-hearted painting by Anonymous Bosch <laughs> Anonymous. called A Heartwarming Story, <sighs> depicting dead humans being tormented by skeletons and demons in hell. Two Brothers Drinking in a Tavern by Rick Morgan, Ju Dutch Master, 1444. I think these are fake. Trouble on Two Legs by Dennis Lewis, date unknown, a painting discovered in an attic near Bordeaux, France, hidden behind a case of chocolate. Oh, I don't like Crown Royal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Yeah. I don't We're like it. We're all learning something today. I've never liked it, about honestly. Ourselves. I just thought I... I like the little pouch, the little purple pouch. Yeah, the purple pouch is nice. It's just, this is... The whiskey itself, not my favorite. It's not, not my. Anyway. Otto's nice too. It's whiskey, and it's the only, it's the only whiskey I have in the house right now. It'll have to do. Anyway, my apologies, Luke. Uh, let's let not, let's let not whiskey Matt interrupt thee, please. No, it's all good, man. That's fine. I was going to say, like, I don't know that I have ever had Crown Royal before. It's obviously you don't like it that much because you just said as much. But how can I describe it? Please do. It's uh, and I and to any of you who like Crown Royal, I mean, th th that's fine. Whatever. I'm not even going to say you're wrong. It's just. <laughs> it just doesn't it doesn't it doesn't hit me in the jaw hmm. you know like it, it gets you here it gets you right here <laughs> it's just it doesn't hit me at all it's it's very mm. um it's it's like lake water hmm. <laughs> it's like lake water mm. well like, yeah i mean you know if the crown royal is unlikely to uh ask you to write their marketing copy that's sure that's mm, actually likely. you know what I'm getting used to it. It's fine. It's just not. Uh, it's just not my. Uh, you know, I, I I usually go for uh, something a little classy, uh, mm -hmm. or, or or something real filthy like Jack Daniels. So this is kind of in between, mm -hmm. and it's Grand Royal's not classy, but What's it's a classy also not one? like like Japanese whiskey or Ooh. like that one you got with it that has a the that you got for me that time, uh, Alex that has like the collar. The collar. It had a little metal collar, oh. a, little, a little metal choker, like a '90s girl. <laughs> it 
it was great. I I usually <laughs> drink Bullet, which is not classy either. But Bullet is my favorite. It's and it's it's where I go, and that's bourbon, and it's fine. But this is, I don't know. I don't, I'm not complaining though about it. I'm really not. I'm just, you know. You are a little bit, but not, you know. It's fine. Literally. I'm getting used to it. Maybe I can develop a love for Crown Royal. I am yeah. drinking it straight. We'll, see, we'll, <laughs> we'll check in again at the end of the episode and oh, then in the next one. I ain't going to let you check in. I'll just let you know. Okay, great. <laughs> I mean, you know. Mm-hmm. And I do drink, but I don't drink whiskey. So I don't. I don't drink either. But I did have a single cocktail in San Francisco to celebrate, kind of like getting out of um, finishing up Wednesday, which was the ha- first half of the week. Um, at the conference was like my hardest part of the week, and then I kind of did have a single cocktail because they all sounded completely outlandish. Ooh, what was it? Nice. I ha- uh, yeah, 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 I had a Kuma Moto's Sunshine. It was at an izakaya, and the izakaya had okay. the mm-hmm. most incredible. Um, they had one called Onion Cream Cheese, which oh, I did not have. That doesn't sound great. That was brandy, charred onion, salty toasted nuts, yuzu sake, strawberry cream cheese, and lemon. Oh, I give did me not. That. I didn't have that, but that sounds amazing. I know well, the onions. Yeah, yeah, I should have. Um, they had. I've been into it. They had something with that was called seaweed mustard. Anyway, I had, mm-hmm. I had, um, yeah, the Kumamoto Sunshine was Kikori infused chrysanthemum, Yuzuri, Ooh, okay. Ooh. apricot, Ooh. oolong tea, chocolate walnut bitter, citrus, and lava salt. Lava okay. salt. I know. That sounds all right. Yeah, I How mean, was it, was, it? it was nice. It was nice. You could actually taste the chocolate walnut bitter in there if you really thought about it. So yeah. Um, well, that's yeah. awesome. It just that everything sounded so amazing and creative and cool and like yeah so I I did I did do the one but yeah I generally don't drink either so yeah I and I need to be clear here well I do drink I don't drink that often <laughs> I just mm-hmm. but when I do I don't I go I just do I just when go. I do I don't when I do I do it <laughs> when I do drink I do when I don't when... I'm not hmm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't like to. Nah, I don't like to be. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. That's that's fair. That's fair, and that's okay. You know, just had a long day, and yeah. I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow. So I'm I'm just making this happen. Oh, it's starting to yeah. take effect. I'm feeling okay. <laughs> all right. I'm feeling Excellent. all right. <laughs> it was fine. It was fine. No. I still talk to old Jenny from Tinder. By the way, not my Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this was this was the same uh, this was the same uh, event where you met uh, um, Cheddar 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 yes, yes. I, was gonna... I was gonna say Trevor because I I remember his real name but I couldn't remember the, Good old the name you gave him yeah this was the Cheddar incident oh, which, the Cheddar which incident. I believe we recount we we yeah. heard um, during the live stream of the Police Quest One VGA. We, that we did I believe it. so. Yeah. So if anyone yeah. wants to hear the Cheddar story, the Cheddar Tinder old Jenny story, it's on the the Level Zero NPC live stream of uh, uh, Police Quest One. Police that, Quest One. That was the also first Level Zero live stream of Police Quest One. If we do any more, <laughs> <laughs> that was also the last appearance of Whiskey Matt, who's back again. The Ooh. most recent. The most of recent. Whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Up to this point. Until today. Until today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, should we video game a little bit more? Yeah, sorry. I just wanted to comment yes. on what I was drinking no, tonight for it, those who were curious, which is probably nobody. It, but anyway. It's good. I asked. So yeah, I know, know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Cart <laughs> Before the Horse by Suzetto Living Goodoni by uh, 1481. Living Goodoni. Yeah. Oh, that's the anonymous Bosch one. Uh, this is a painting of, uh, looks like Weird Al Yankovic <laughs> here. Young Portrait man. of a Young Man by Marcello Fleming, Italian Master, 1550. 
Ooh. Musings on Cyberspace by John Wentworth, the Flemish master, painted in 1533. <gasps> <gasps> oh no! A fine it's example the of neo quasi Italian Renaissance sculpture by Alberto Ravioli, sculptured, sculpted in 1525. The humanoid statue is called, appropriately enough, Ruminations on Death and Dismemberment. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Indeed. It's one of seeming billions of ballerina sculptures that were made by Degas, who was something of a ballerina fancier. My wife was a ballerina. Aww. At one point. Was oh, she? Yeah. Mm, right on. Meg, 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 my wife, she's a, she was into ballet for a mm. while. A while. Nice. A while. Examining the painting carefully, you notice that some of the strong mm. smelling paint looks smeared. Gross. Let's touch the paint. Oh my god. When oh. you touch the painting, you smear a bit of the paint as it's still damp. Still damp? Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, it's been damp for 500 years, apparently. Or. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> There's more than a little room, Miss Bo. <laughs> Forget this guy's <laughs> What is his... <laughs> Did he just kiss her on the back of the head and leave? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's right. Speed yes. walking. Small little... Speed walking. Wow! Ah! Rude, Miss Bo. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm tempted to click whatever this glittering bit here is. Do it. Feels like a painting by Anonymous Bosch, who was known for the distinctive texture of his canvases, among other things. Oh, let's feel all the paintings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this one's still damp. That one too. That one too. I like to think each finger we're touching with different yeah. fingers each time, so all of our fingers will. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. And we just kind of touch this one. It's like, oh, it feels like an anonymous. Why don't we give the countess a little touch while we're at it? We just yeah, don't wipe our hand off. Please, my dear, let's keep our hands to ourselves, shall we? Decorum, my dear, decorum is the order of the day. Um, The left side wall paintings, can we look at those? Let's take a look. Let's see if we can. Mm. One of many paintings in Michelangelo's Battle of the Nudes mm. series. <laughs> <laughs> What's so yeah. funny, Matt? <laughs> A marble bench provided so that patrons can sit and ponder <laughs> the amount of culture oozing through the air of this room. The white marble bench feels cold. You recall from your physics class that marble has a low specific temperature. Mm. The bench is made of highly polished white Carrera marble. Oh, we didn't touch the sculptures yet. Oh, well. Oh, stop. Stop. It's an expensive work of art on display in a museum. Your father would be appalled if he knew you wanted to touch it. Overcoming your temporary insanity, you change your mind. Wait a minute. We've manhandled literally everything else in the game so far. This is the one? We have dinosaur yeah, bone in our purse. This is the one we draw the line yeah. at? Yeah. Our hands are covered we have a in... dinosaur bone in our purse. <laughs> yeah, our hands are covered yes. in corpse. Like, come yeah. on. Corpse it's true. We've got paint. probably blood still on our hand. Yeah. Yeah. DNA. Okay, so somebody mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like oh, only oh. thinks that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The magnifying glass. We can look at the glint, right? Is that what it? It's. Oh, maybe. Do that. Oh. Uh... <gasps> oh no. Oh, no! You got, oh, 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 yeah. did Audacity, like, change, like, what your, your thing is? Your, weird, oh my god. 
Sam Bad. I mean, you can stop and then we can just add you back in. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's For everybody that's wondering what we're talking about, uh, who may have already cottoned on to it, apparently Alex's recording has stopped uh, capturing audio at some point. So we're just resyncing him now. Yep, it's all good. We didn't do fuck all. <laughs> no, it's true. Theoretically, we could just start over yeah. and nobody wouldn't be the wiser. Yeah. But... I, you know, may as well just leave this in. This is just, you know, how we are anyway, so. That's true. Yeah. Yep. Truly a comedy of errors. Just, yeah, stop the recording and do another test recording and let us know when we're good. Uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> And we are go. back. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hey. Welcome we're back, back, everyone. Alex we're is here. <laughs> we're fucking it all up today. <laughs> oh yeah. No. This is gonna go down in the books. This are we still? The... Are we still sticking to our guns of keeping that entire intro in? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. It'd be doubly interesting because we would be talking to you. Matt wouldn't be here. It'd be just Julia and I <laughs> mostly agreeing to something that nobody else can hear. Well, why wouldn't just I so. be there? I've been recording this whole time. Cuz you weren't. You were down you were downstairs getting whiskey. We were conspiring against you. So just to make either timeline here possible, uh <laughs> we were recording the preamble of like our sinks and stuff like that and we were talking yeah. about because matt had said some strange stuff and i was like i want that in the episode so we were gonna just have the entire prologue be in the episode before we even did the sinks <laughs> <laughs> uh including uh, matt like deciding he's gonna get a drink and going downstairs yeah you exactly. were record you recorded that <laughs> yeah it was we all, all it was all in you there. were there oh yeah the, uh, anyway, but my my thing wasn't recording. There was an interaction with uh, with Skype. Yeah, I sent a message earlier today to Microsoft saying that I was going to devote the rest of my life to evil, so I could be put in charge of the special hell they all get sent to. <laughs> it was for an unrelated reason, but now I don't regret it even a little bit. Now you feel extra. Justified. I feel doubly yeah. vindicated because of fucking Skype. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we're back. <laughs> Presumably you can hear all four of us this time. Um, what the start of this episode is going to look and sound like? <laughs> Who knows? It's up to you, Luke. Are we going to gain or lose subscribers? Who knows? We shall find out. Oh, we're going to we um, we're, we're going to gain them. We got whiskey, Matt. Yeah. I'm so angry and tired that my blood is turning to diamonds inside of my body. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, uh, I yeah. just I just drank a price tag by mistake because it was in my <laughs> coffee for some reason. Oh yeah, nobody got to hear. Well, I mean, I guess through context, they'll have heard that Alex had a price tag in his coffee for no known reason. And my microphone sucks because I left my uh, USB mini cable at Matt's place a couple weeks ago, not realizing that it was the last one on the entire surface of the earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was the keeper of souls, the last of its kind. And now I'm just on a shitty gaming headset. It's John's fault. <laughs> it actually is John's <laughs> fault. Go back and watch our playthroughs of Broforce and Fallout to know who John is. Yeah, because it, it's my fault that I forgot it, but it's John's fault I had to bring it. That makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> And with that out of the way, let's play a video game a little bit more. Um, so. so I can do nothing with this. Oh. I, the glinting, it's not allowing. Unless I can like line up the pixel and click it immediately. As, it's, gl the... as it's glistening? Yeah, that's all, the, all of the other paintings are damp, though, right? It's just this one that isn't. Oh, see, now she's walking over. So like, is this literally like a pixel hunt? Mm. The glint doesn't glint when you hold your finger on it. You don't say. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there we go. 
That looks like a thing. Inspecting the painting carefully, you note the bloody quality of the red pigment and recall that Bosch was known for the use of human blood in his paintings. Okay, I need to line up with my finger here. Oh. Oh! How small is that? The skeleton key is inscribed with eerily articulated markings. The weird orthography of a long dead tongue. It offers no clue as to what it unlocks. Pandora's box, perhaps? Ooh, secret painting key. It's an actual skeleton key, glued to the painting as if it's being held by one of the skeletons. That Bosch was a stickler for realism. Time to take it. <laughs> Jeepers! The shiny key on the painting even feels real. Probably because it is. Although you have a natural attraction to shiny objects, this one is firmly attached to the painting and obviously can't be removed by oh, hand. You're right. going to make me use inventory? Crowbar. Hit it with a bone. Yes. Oh. Well, this is an interesting approach. It serves no practical purpose. Oh. Do we have a crowbar? Yeah, no. use the no. crowbar. How about the onk? Onk? Yeah, use the crowbar. Oh. I don't have a crowbar. Yeah, use the crowbar. <laughs> no, it's the sorry. one yeah. from the last game. <laughs> you know, the one from the other game. That's fair. I like Great. your pronunciation of skeleton. 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 <laughs> uh, in case Luke rightly decides not to keep the preamble <laughs> part of this. We will. We can blame him. Uh, we were interacting with the paintings and discovered that some of them are wet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, no, we'll, we'll keep most of that. It's just the question more of, like, are we going to keep in all the sort of just, just me and Julia, like, <laughs> ha ha like responding to you? Prominent. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See how insane it sounds. <laughs> you hear muffled voices coming through the door to Yvette's office. Mm. What a handsome fellow. Let's see what the plaque says. Caesar Augustus, B.C. 6-3, A.D. 1-4. Octavian, great nephew and adopted son of Julius Caesar, he assumed the name Augustus after his sound defeat of Mark Antony left him supreme master of the Roman world. He was the first of the true Roman emperors, not counting Julius, who didn't live long enough to enjoy the title, and established the Pax Romana throughout the empire. He was, uh, yeah, his wife murdered him with a poison fig. Okay, so because yeah, the <laughs> big, big thing here that you didn't know about him, he was married to Whitney Houston. <sighs> Whitney Houston. No, notorious murderer. <coughs> Whitney yep. Houston. You guys remember? He it? was the he was the one that she will always love. Yeah. Who what's your favorite Whitney Houston song? Everybody's got one or two. Mm -hmm. How many people would Whitney Houston have to remember have have to have to murder before that was her main thing? <laughs> well, <laughs> Yeah, that's a good mm. question. Like, she did, and, she, so that it, so that the, um, interviewing her on the news, it will be like local murderer Whitney Houston. I mean, first of all, rest in peace, Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. Second of all, I don't think there's any. Uh, I I don't think there's any number. <laughs> it might depend on whether they had it coming. Well, yeah. Here's the thing. She has the voice of an angel. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had I have Whitney Houston stuck in my head. You guys like to hear? Yes. Yeah, sure. go for yeah. it. Go for it. Hold on, let me bring up the lyrics so I don't fuck this up. I mean, so my favorite Whitney Houston song is "I Want to Dance." With yes, somebody. me too. Oh, totally. That's a classic. That's a classic. Yeah. Is that the one where Absolutely. the they recorded it and they realized uh, the 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 guy who was recording it realized he didn't get any of the S's? So you had to go back in and re-record all the S's, and you can really tell. Did I just ruin the song? I think yes, I did. you did. I don't know <laughs> if I don't know if that happened, but I'm gonna go and listen to it after this episode and find out. Yeah, yeah. I think my favorite. Like, did they just go through and and just like S a bunch? Just like, yeah, the, with the I rest think, of the I song. Even, did they I not just even... re record the whole thing? I don't think it was even Whitney. I think it was the the producer just went went. I put it all the way through the song. <laughs> if that's what happened, I love the song even more. 
<laughs> what a desperate 3 a.m. audio booth <laughs> task that would be. <laughs> Just you go in, you go in the next day cradling the track in your hands like a dead bird. And they never re-recorded this ever? Never. Uh, I mean, they yeah. probably did. She must have performed it live at least once on tape, but like... Yeah, like, yeah, you'd basically just have to lip sync and then, like, pronounce all the S's as they came through. You almost feel be... like you could hit it with a little bit of static instead. Be almost as good. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's true. I mean, I suppose back in, like, 1987 or whatever, um, they probably would have not had sort of the digital, like, you know, a, uh, DAW that we have today to go in and just like transpose s's in at the exact point they need to be but good gravy that's that's crazy it might have been another song but i i, I it was one of her songs and it was i think it was mm, a wild i want to dance with somebody i think i don't know hmm. guys i don't know i don't know if you know this but i've got quite a bit of crown royal in me at this point <laughs> Uh, earlier, how many, how many glasses are you in at this point? I'm half a glass in, but it's a big glass and oh. it's straight. Okay. <laughs> earlier, my partner gestured to me at my recording software and made a waveform motion with her hand, <laughs> and I thought what she was asking was whether she was appearing as background noise. But it now occurs to me that what she was saying was. You are not recording yourself, oh, you no. fool. <laughs> <laughs> Perfection. Guys, I think we can yes. make this. I, mm -hmm. I think if we work together, we can make this the worst episode of Level Zero NPCs ever. <laughs> I, think, I think it's all going to be down to how Luke edits this. <laughs> yeah. It'll be as good as Luke edits it to be. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Alex, record a lot of your voice. Let's feed it into AI and just have it say whatever it wants. <laughs> oh, man. Just try to make it, like, improvise dialogue about drinking a sticker by mistake. Yeah. You know. I mean, okay, the two just best lines I we said. I remember you saying. The, the two best lines I said were how I had just found a little piece of a price tag sticker in my coffee. And I was worried that I had drunk the rest and about how I could see the veins in my eyes. Yes, Paul Sater. did say that. Yes. <laughs> yep. It was a it was a whole thing that we did. His wife murdered him with a poisoned fig. Didn't we almost have it all? <laughs> it's not my favorite Whitney Houston. No. Oh. oh. I mean, it's just the one you wanted to sing. It's the one that's been stuck in my head. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. It's the song in your heart this evening. Yep. Yeah. And that's what reminded me of Whitney Houston, even though Whitney Houston, <laughs> I think, might be a divisive topic <laughs> as a person. Think so? Why? Well, she had a troubled life. She 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 went sure. she went uh, she didn't go out in the best way. Um, True. I called her a murderer, uh, <laughs> straight up, and. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can come back from that. I don't know if my career can come back from that. <laughs> See, if you love her, I called her a murderer. And if yeah. you hate her, I I guess you might like this. Never mind. <laughs> well, what I, my my stance on she's a murderer if they didn't have it coming is that like if you're a famous singer, and you kill someone for a good reason, people will probably be like, yeah, you know, she killed someone, but like, you know, she's a singer. But if like you were, if it was like sh a series of shocking, like, you know, pathological serial killer murders, mm -hmm, then it'd be like, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that was a murderer who happened to sing. <laughs> like, uh, like, yeah. well, extreme example. Uh, I'm comfortable remembering Cosby as primarily a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. This you know true. what? True. That's true. Yeah. Although, for some reason, people do not think of Ezra Miller as a kidnapper. I do. Yeah. I mean, I do but, now. I mean, they... 
Well, yeah. uh, we may be dating ourselves in that, though. Like, the... We don't know what history will remember Ezra Miller as. That's true. Right That's now, true. we live in a world where relatively recently, they needed him to still be the Flash. But, like, <laughs> Henry Cavill's not being Superman anymore, and they will literally never find a better Superman. So pretty soon, like, who cares who is the Flash, right? That actually might also date you, because this next guy might be better. Probably oh, not. For does, Superman? Does it look like and he's going to be pretty good? It looks like he's going to be all right. I mean, physically, I can't I can't speak. I but, didn't know that there was another Superman thing happening. So. Yeah, take a look, everybody. They'll mm. never stop. They'll never stop. No. Oh, I'm sure they will, like, continue doing more Superman things because for some reason they don't have anything better to do, but... I put, Whit I put Whitney Houston, didn't we almost have it all, into the... Um, into the music tunes to share Aww. on our Discord. Oh, thank you. Um, just because now people important. have context. <clears throat> yeah, a couple days later. Didn't we almost have it all? Right, anyway, as Ez Ezra Miller might be remembered as a kidnapper once he's no longer under the protective aegis of being the Flash. You know what? It's possible to, that that they'll be known for worse. True. Yeah. You, no, yeah, who knows? Anyway, uh, I'm sorry I derailed this. No, no, <laughs> no that's, 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 those going. are the rails. Those are the uh, rails. He was a pretty nice fellow for an emperor, and everybody missed him. Everybody missed him. Hmm. Everybody missed him. Oh, my, he looks dour. Let's see who he is. Tiberius, B.C. 42 to A.D. 37. Keep going. This is background music. No, that was jaunty. That was very jaunty. <laughs> Tiberius disliked most everyone and practiced the strictest economy with funds devoted to public amusement. Consequently, most everyone disliked him. Although he was perceived by the upper classes as a suspicious, ill-natured tyrant throughout his reign, he ruled the empire with a firm, capable hand, and Rome prospered. He was most probably smothered by his nephew Caligula, although no one is quite sure to this day. Nobody missed him. God, that harmonica was like a bellows just pumping the information out of my head as it entered. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was doing it so quietly. I was trying so hard not to do it too loud. Oh yeah, man! No, it did not end up being quiet. That was an ordeal. All your microphone. I, I think your microphone, like, drew the audio in so that we could hear it at maximum let's, volume. Let's try it again. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Oh dear, he looks somewhat dissipated. Let's read his plaque. Caligula, BC thirty-seven to AD forty-one. Caligula started out a decent enough chap, but shortly after he became emperor, he was seized with a severe illness which unsettled his reason. Consequently, his name has become a byword for frantic cruelties and insane imaginings. The grotesque atrocities of his reign were ended when he was assassinated by the Praetorian Guard in a grimy tunnel beneath the Colosseum. Nobody missed him either. The, was, that, was that better? The, the asinine <laughs> harmonica tune beneath expo expository dialogue is so fucking funny. <laughs> like, I, I hate it, but I love it at the same time. I was dying. Oh, yeah. my God. I was, I'm, 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 I'm covering it with my hand so it's not too loud. Yeah, no, it was just muffled this time. Yeah. Good, good, good. Um, this is very much an episode for the long-time viewers, I think. Oh, no. Ooh. Luke just cut out. Luke, Luke just cut uh, out. I, I heard him be fuzzy earlier, and I'm like, uh-oh. I heard him be fuzzy, Am too. Am I cut out still? I no, didn't no, want to back. say anything. You're back. You're back. I didn't want to curse it. No, no it's back. already cursed, I was looking cursed, at my Julia. waveform, and it was fine after I heard <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. Uh, hey, Alex, how's your waveform? Good. No, I'm keeping an eye on it. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Guys, aren't you glad you tuned in today? Aren't you glad? Uh, rewind at this point and rewatch the whole start again. Uh, here's a thoughtful looking gentleman. What does his plaque say? <laughs> Claudius, BC 10 to AD 54. Enthroned by the Praetorian Guard after the assassination of his odious nephew, Caligula, 
Claudius accomplished much for the empire. Although weak and timid by nature, he proved to be a noble statesman. He built the famous Roman aqueducts and conducted a successful campaign against Britain. His fourth wife murdered him with a poison mushroom. She didn't miss him, but the rest of the empire did. Ooh. Oh, holy shit, I'm trying so hard to follow what Lucas said. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's just Roman history, so I don't know that it's that important to... Like, I don't think there's going to be a quiz. I um, I think, I think, and don't quote yeah. me here, but I think we're going to lose a few subscribers here. We might, <laughs> we might. I think it's going to happen. I think if people are going to be like, oh, yeah, they uh, they definitely jumped the shark here. I think I actually think it's going to be okay. I think the missing my dialogue in the first part is rough, but yeah, I I, I have faith. Luke will I find mean, a version of this that makes sense. We did an entire episode of Quest for Glory three where uh, we didn't record Lou's audio. I know. Yeah. Also, Julia just quit. What? She just sent me a message. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> I'm done. See you fucks later, <laughs> Julia. Oh. You would never do that. No, I would never. You would never do that. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. You feel a blush creeping over your face as you look at the perfect body of Rodan's mm. famous thinker. Rodan did a lot of sculpting when he wasn't fighting Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Tentatively, you touch the cool bronze. It feels mm. as smooth as it looks. I've <laughs> I've actually seen some of Rodin's uh, sculpts. Mm -hmm. Not the thinker, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen uh, Rodin as well, and also and I saw get... a bronze ballerina by Degas at the Tate Modern in London. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The most famous painting I've seen is there's a dolly in the Beaverbrook Museum in New Brunswick. It's got no business being there, but. <laughs> Be Beaverbrook knew a guy who knew a guy, you know. He had connections, so. Amazing. I've, I've never even heard of Beaverbrook. It's because you're not from New Brunswick. There's no reason you ought to have. They've got a very impressive Dali. I forget what the, um, um, you know, the name of the painting is. It's huge, and I, I think it's one of his better known ones, but. Oh. I think the really cool thing, among many cool things about Salvador Dali, is that he was alive very recently, mm -hmm. and since the sort of advent of sort of mass printing and stuff like that, uh, to such a degree that I can have and do have a signed mm -hmm. Dali print yes. of one of his pieces. Yeah, they're not completely you know, outrageously that's... priced. Yeah, yeah. He was so, like, I can have an original Dali that he signed. I mean, it's not like the original original that mm -hmm. the prints were ma based off of, but like, you know, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. That is cool. It is really cool. Yeah, Dali was an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I hear he was a huge <laughs> dick. <laughs> anyway. Was he? I don't uh, recall hearing I, that. I, I, just reputedly, I heard a couple anecdotes that suggested he was kind of horrible. Mm. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. You know. Anyway, look it up. Do your own research. <laughs> Sorry, that I was threw up saying that. Whew. All right. Did we ask Speedwalking they about um, like Pippin Carter? Pippin Carter. We have not. Hey, ask him about Pippin Carter. Yeah. Probably do look up Dali because I might be mistaking him for someone else and saying <laughs> that he was an asshole. <laughs> no, he, that'd be he a terrible was. thing, wouldn't it? He, he was kind of a he was kind of a jerk. Dr. Connor's demise truly lost to his all despite his pushy, overinflated, headline grabbing ego. At least he completed his work on the Ancient Egypt exhibit before he passed on. Dedicated chap. I'll say that for him. Him. Any idea who might have wanted to kill him? Wow. Wow. The man had enemies crawling out of every the woodwork, Miss Bo. Mm. Practically everyone's a suspect, if you ask me. Everyone, including you? Well, perhaps I should say everyone except myself, since I was at the fundraising event with Mr. Carter, was taken away from us. Terrible thing. 
Really? You're better at the speed walk and while slightly drunk. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have no... I'm not afraid. <laughs> I have no fear. I'm not afraid. I'm Less not afraid even than anymore. Usual. Fear is the mind killer. <laughs> fear, fear is the mind killer. God, that's so true, Luke. Yeah, it is. Fear is the mind killer. <laughs> I, I saw Dune, this... Dune Part 2, by the way. You should, too. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt again. No, that's fine. That's fine. This is the door to Yvette Delacroix's office. My yeah. uh, my favorite part of Dune Part 2 uh, was right at the start during the previews. The preview for the next King Kong Godzilla movie came out. Matt and I watched it. I was sitting right next to him. And he turned to me in the theater, frowned, and put his thumb down, and said, while nodding his head, thumbs down, out loud. <laughs> as, if, as if his body language and stuff was not going to do the trick. Oh, I also said later on, I don't think I like movies anymore. Oh, yeah. But you just saw Dune 2, and you yeah, said dude. it was good. Dune 2 made it better. Yeah, Dune 2 reignited our uh, uh, interest in movies. Although, uh, rough day for the Furiosa trailer to be ahead of that. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, like, that should be good. I It should be. I, it doesn't look like it. I don't know. Because I would one... compare Dune, Dune, Dune Chapter 2 favorably to Fury Road. In terms of its like sort of scale and the sound of it and the spectacle of it, the second trailer came out and it is much better for Furiosa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I hope I'm hoping it was just unfinished because it it looked it especially compared to Doom, it kind of looked like hot shit, and I was kind of sad to see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh man! I will be interested in seeing if is it's Anya Taylor Joy, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Captures the Furiosa character in the same way that, uh, um, fuck, now I'm forgetting her name. Charlize Theron. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who did, did the first one? Yeah. Big shoes to fill. Yeah. yeah. Big. It's a prequel. It must be Anya Taylor Joy. Is, it is, is the like prequel. A child. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Moving on to eavesdrop mm -hmm. in on. Um, Thank you for coming to see me, Olympia. This is very nice of you. I'll have to go higher. You're very welcome, my dear. What can I do for you? Oh, you see, I found this strange bone, and I said to myself, Yvette, if anyone can tell you what this is, it would be Olympia. Uh, no? A bone, you say? How fascinating. Where did you find it? I found it right here in the museum. Here it is, doctor. Now, let me see. Ha <laughs> ha, your vet, you silly girl. This is a chicken bone. It is? Yes, of course. Why, it is still greasy. You caught this at dinner, didn't you? <laughs> oh, you have caught me, Olympia. I am playing the little joke on you. You are a funny girl, Yvette, but I am quite fond of you. Olympia, we are the good friends, no. I have the problem I wish to talk to you about. Oh, certainly. What is it? Come closer, I can whisper it to you. It is very personal. I want no one to overhear. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Whoa. Uh, Yvette, Whoa. Yvette is her flapper reclining on the couch in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we all have one out there somewhere in the world. <laughs> Everybody's got a flapper? Reclining wow. on a couch. It, it might be a figurative flapper on a figurative couch. But, you know, wow. she's out there. There you go. Everybody gets a couch flapper. <laughs> find yourself your couch flapper. Yeah, uh, this, is, this is this is a much delayed comment. I think I might have misgendered uh, Ezra Miller a bunch of times earlier. That wasn't malice on my part. That was just lack of concentration. That's one of those things, right? Like I I I said they, but also 
I think you are right. I think it is they. I had forgotten about that. But they're they're also a giant fucking asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we can, we can we can respect a person's pronouns without respecting the person, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. I think we're about out of time for the episode. God, what a ride this was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's make it out of here alive. Yeah. Absolute roller coaster. Jesus Christ on a biscuit. Sorry, everyone. Listen, you can if you want to unsubscribe, what you do is go down to the subscribe button. <laughs> you can go ahead and just hit sus- you hit subscribe and it'll just you're done. You never have to see us again. <laughs> I think like, I don't think it. we did that much worse than usual. I just think we feel way worse than usual. <laughs> yeah, why do we feel worse? <laughs> well, I feel Busy shitty week? because my fucking microphone wasn't working and I didn't notice. That definitely has me in a foul mood. But <laughs> there's plenty of episode here to work with, I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Guys, it it's a weird one, but it's a one still. And then we missed a week cuz I was gone and I feel a little bad about that. So you had it's your own museum your... to rob. Yeah, I it's did. Not your fault. I, and I did. You nailed it. <laughs> you, you had damp paintings to get fingerprints <laughs> yeah. on. I made you sure. Had, you had corpses to finger. Oh. I eyeballs to poke. I mean <laughs> finger like poke. Well, I probably should have just said poke. Uh my Yeah, there are other <laughs> verbs you could have used. <laughs> My uh, my partner recently started work uh, at an optometrist's um, and is working with some like optometry equipment and stuff. And I like to, rather than ask how it works, assert how it works. Mm-hmm. So like I'll say, like, you know, have you mastered like popping out someone's eyeball so you can put it into the little machine to get cleaned off? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then popping their shiny new eyeball back in. Hmm. Freshly cleaned. Mm-hmm. So it's a little machine. You put it in, you know, and it like rattles it. It's like a rock polisher, but for the person's <laughs> eyeballs. An mm-hmm. eye polisher. Yeah, you put a little sanding yeah, gotta, medium in there. Yeah, yeah you gotta sh- shave off the top layer so so they can see through it. You gotta kind of like hook a thumb under their like o- their ocular orbit, you know? It's <laughs> just like apply, <laughs> apply a little bit of pressure and just out it goes. Yeah. Yep. How do you taste how many sight buds they have left? Yeah. <laughs> See, that was actually how I escalated it, too, Color was buds. that V would have to work her way up to being the eye taster, where you just <laughs> pop the eye directly into your mouth and swirl it around to assess the quality of their vision, sort of going <laughs> like, a, like a wine sommelier, you know? <laughs> the only way to, yeah, the only way to test the amount of buds on something is to use the buds of your part. Your Absolutely. It's the only way to yeah. tell. And if you are both the sort of uh, exam administrator and the eyeball taster, you can just skip a step by just locking lips with their eye socket and sucking the eye directly out of their head. Yeah. <laughs> it, was at, it was at this point that my partner rightly asked me to stop making up things about optometry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Find yourselves a tomorrow. Find yourselves a tomorrow. I hope you guys... Have yourself a future. Find your... Yeah. Count your scent buds in your nose. Yeah. Yeah.